So this training session is just an example of something that I've been playing around with uh, for probably about a year now, and I've really liked it, and I think it works. Um, that idea is to stop programming sets and reps for your training sessions, and instead just going in and picking one or two, maybe three exercises. Um, in this video, I'm doing three exercises, and I'm doing those specific exercises to train, and I'm just going to work up to heavy sets of one, two, or three reps. And then I'm going to do as many sets of those heavy weights with low reps as possible. And I've talked about doing stuff like this before, but it really goes back to um, what I think is the problem with progressive overload. I think what often happens when you program specific sets and reps, especially in the low, uh, low rep range, is that people significantly underdose themselves. For example, many times people will program four sets of three or six sets of two, and the first couple of sets that they do are too easy. So they make these little jumps, but they count those earlier sets as working sets, and they're kind of just wasted junk volume sets that don't actually uh, elicit any sort of positive adaptation that they're looking to elicit. And so I've talked about it, and a lot of other people have talked about it before, but with training, we're looking to level up the organism. I think doing something like this where you're just going in and focusing on a couple of exercises and going heavy until you don't feel like you can go heavy anymore does a better job of leveling up the organism better than something like four sets of three or six sets of two when you already have these pre-programmed weights that you're looking to hit. And when you do all of these sets of lower reps and if the reps end up being like 85 to 90 percent for just like one or two reps, it's really not that fatiguing at all. So you can make a lot of little jumps up in weight without hindering yourself when you get to those extremely heavy sets. And if you're concerned about tracking progress for something like this, it's really easy to do. You just do this for however many weeks you want to do it for, and you write down each week what weight you hit for how many reps, and you just try to beat it every time. And I know it's unrealistic to think you're going to beat your weight uh, and reps every single week, but that kind of leads me into my next point is that I think training this way improves our ability to accurately assess our RPE, and it shows us what we're really capable of. So I think this is a really underrated way to train for strength, and I think the same principles could probably be applied to hypertrophy as well. So yeah, basically the idea is instead of programming specific sets and reps at certain weights, just go in, pick a couple exercises to do, and train them heavy for low reps, one, two, or three reps for as many sets as possible, and I think it gives you a great stimulus to adapt to strength and possibly size if that's what you're looking for um, as well. And at the end of the video, I do some dunks, so enjoy watching those. I was still fresh enough to get some dunks in.